hello guys so it's been a long time since i made a video because i have faced a lot of problem with my fabex printer and now i have made few successful prints as you can see and i have learned a lot of stuff with this printer what to do what not to do and in this video i'll tell you what you can expect from this printer and what not and how this 25000 printer can really help you with your hobby things or whatever it might be so first things first I'll show you all the pictures that I have taken so far that I printed using my 3D printer and I'll tell you what took me so long to get things started and so that it will help you when you buy this printer. So to get started the main thing is the settings that you do with your Cura software. So Fabex printer uses Cura a software which converts your STL files to G code and uh, feeds it to the printer to print stuff. So let's start Cura. Here it is Cura so if you have seen my last video you could have noticed that uh, the previous two videos i have i would have shown four files that would be sent from fabex people itself so in that file they have sent you a machine settings i do recommend to use the same settings and not to mess around with your own so some of the settings which should not be changed is one the diameter of the filament over here and the flow of the filament and the flow it's not a problem but still i recommend not to change it and the printing temperature especially the temperature because too much temperature can spoil your nozzle i'll show you what will happen in just a minute so if you increase the temperature your nozzle gets cogged and uh, you can see i got a new uh, new nozzle from fabex uh, it is over here and the old one which got burnt out uh, so do not increase the temperature keep it to 185 itself and uh, uh, if you want to change some settings it would be the fill density the support type the platform addition type and all those things so never ever change your temperature and the diameter and the filaments diameter it won't work out so the problem that i faced was i kept on getting cogged filament with my printer so as you can see while the printer prints what actually happens is this filament will be sent through this bobbin and then heated inside this extruder and the filament oozes out to print the material but what happens is the filament becomes weak, weak over here and it gets cogged inside so what actually happens is it gets rolled up or near the extruder part yeah exactly like this so what happens is the print stops half the way and you have to stop the print and you have to pull it out and you'll notice that the print has stopped half the way and a brittle part over here which denotes that it has been cogged inside the printer so i reported to fabex and they were kind enough to send me another set of extruder and after a lot of research i found out the problem was not with my extruder with my filament actually i got it changed and now things are working properly so let me open the camera and show you the replacements that i got one thing i do like with fabex is their customer support it's really good so i got a nozzle it didn't work they sent me another one and it worked well so right now i'm using the one which is working well and this is my old extruder which got cocked up as you can see the nozzle and everything is pretty much damaged but the new one is working well so another important part that most of us forget to do is we just print it and leave the filament on our printer itself but what actually happens is it gets brittle so uh, it has a humidity problem so it is recommended to store your filament in a nice dry place what i have used is a simple solution i just used a yeah i just used a, a tupperware box which is airtight so this works well for me as you can see it is just an airtight box and uh, I have placed the filament inside. Yeah. Here's the filament inside a bubble wrap. So most people recommend us to use a dehumidifier to prevent it from getting brittle and all those stuff but it works fine for me. Okay now I'll show you what all I have printed these days and uh, I'll start with my favorite one. My favorite one is this cat keychain. So it is a keychain come phone holder and i like it very much and it was not designed by me it was actually downloaded from the internet you, can, you have a lot of stl files on the internet which you can use and uh, i try really hard to get this thing right this is a complete cat keychain where the tail is finished properly and uh, it has a smooth surface over the belly and all but the one which i have here has a problem with the tail part as you can see it is not finished properly but it is still usable have a photograph to show you which shows 
how many times I failed to get this thing right. So as you can see, my printer got cocked in half the way. So it was like 50 times I printed this to get the right setting and uh, uh, use the right type of filament for this. And at last I know how to print this. So for my favorite print will be this Iron Man. I'm a diehard fan of Iron Man and Elon Musk as well. So I have printed Iron Man. So I was quite surprised by this print actually because I didn't expect it to turn out this well. I'll show you. Yeah, so here is our Iron Man. <laughs> Pretty good, right? But, uh, you know, it is not actually a good print. So how it got printed was I laid it flat like this and the print started. The print has uh, finished out very well and it was a complete print. As you can see, the details are very good. But if I turn back this, you can notice a lot of scratchings behind. <laughs> so this and some of the other prints are uh, this one i'm an electronic hobbyist so i printed an audino nano case for myself i'm planning to use this in my next project yeah hold over which you can mount your spool and uh, use it while spoldering you can and another favorite print is this flower part so this is a small flower part which you can keep it in your bedrooms uh, this is not an artificial flower it's a natural one as you can see the layers are not finished properly so i do have some leakage of mud but it doesn't leak water i'll show you some other pots that i have made with this printer yeah here it is this is another type of pot uh, actually i planted it and it looks good so i put a balbaza along with it and this is another type of keychain and uh, so all these files were just downloaded from the internet i did not i did not design any of these things because i just want to experiment with the printer settings rather than design books but i did have designed few things like a logo so this is a website called circuitdigest.com i do recommend you people to visit it it's a really good website for electronic hobby projects and other stuff and and I have made a vacuum cleaner. I'll show you this one. This is a forceps, not forceps actually. Yeah, uh, kind of nose player. It comes in handy when you want to pick minute objects, like this one. So this was actually printed as three materials. Uh, I'll show you. So this is actually three materials. After the print, you can combine them into one useful material and an Iron Man keychain. All these prints turned out well. You don't have to break your head for these small prints because even if it gets struck in half the way, like these are just 20 to 25 minutes prints. So it will be easy for you. And another keychain, this, this can be made in 20 minutes, but these big keychains will take 45 minutes and it is really bad when it gets struck at the 40th minute. <laughs> uh, trust me, you will start hating this printer when that happens to you. And another small design. The accuracy of the printer is quite much than I expected, but its reliabli reliability is far low. So that's it, guys. So if you if you want me to explain anything in this video, I would be happy to do it. And that's it. Thank you for watching.